health coach. Are you confused about the difference between goals and action steps and when to use them with your health coaching clients? Well, they're both really important and they serve distinct but related purposes. So it is good to understand how and when to use each. So today I'm going to explain goals and action steps and I'll help clarify the difference between them. And if you stay until the end, I will walk you through a real life example so you know exactly how to use these correctly with your health coaching clients. So let's start with goals. Goals are like the North Star. They're big, inspiring desires that your clients want to achieve. Whether it's staying fit and toned, reducing stress, preventing illness, or eating better, goals give your clients something to aim for and they help to keep them motivated. To be more specific, goals help clarify the end result or the outcome of what your client hopes to accomplish. They also set a clear focus for your coaching sessions and they serve as benchmarks for evaluating your client's progress along the way. They're like the destination on a map, guiding your client toward their desired changes or results. But goals are just the starting line, they aren't the finish line. That's where the action steps come in. Actions are the smaller tasks behaviors or steps that your client will take in order to reach that larger goal. Actions break down the big overarching goal into manageable bite-sized pieces for the client to follow. Think of action steps as the bricks that build the road along your client's journey toward their destination. So just a quick recap, the goal is the destination, the action step is the path to get there. So let's look at the key differences and then I'll give you that real health coaching example of what this would look like. So here are four key differences between goals and action steps. The first one is around focus and scope. Goals focus on the desired outcome or the result, while the action steps focus on the specific actions needed to achieve the goal that we've already discussed. Number two is about the level of detail. Goals tend to be broader and more general, outlining the end point or the vision, whereas the action steps are very detailed and specific outlining the practical steps that are going to be taken. Although we definitely can use our SMART acronym for both. So if you're unfamiliar with START, it stands for Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Relevant, and Time Bound. The third difference is around purpose. Goals provide the motivation, the direction, and a sense of purpose, while action steps provide those actionable tasks that are needed to make progress and achieve that overall goal. And then the fourth difference is about timing. Goals and action steps typically both have time frames, but goals are usually longer term and action steps are usually shorter term. Also, the overall goal is what you would set at the beginning of the coaching relationship and the action steps can be set more frequently at the end of each coaching session. So thanks for staying with me and learning those differences. Now I'd like to provide an example so you can see how goals and action steps work together in the coaching process. So perhaps your client has set a goal to reduce their stress level by 50% over the next four months so that they can reduce the risk of stress-related illnesses, perform better at work, and be more present with their family. While their action steps underneath that goal might be to get eight hours of sleep five nights a week, meditate for 10 minutes three mornings a week, and then get outside for a walk four times per week. So do you see how these action steps that happen on a weekly basis will work together over time to help your client achieve their goal of reducing their stress level. So just as a bonus, let's take one more example. Perhaps your client has set a goal to lose 15 pounds over the next three months so that they can hike comfortably on an upcoming trip and to reduce the risk of metabolic syndrome. You might help them come up with an action plan that includes meeting with a nutritionist and helping them implement a healthier diet, increasing their movement to 30 minutes five times per week, and then drinking half their body weight in ounces daily. So to recap, we've established that goals set the direction and the purpose of coaching while the action steps provide the actionable roadmap for achieving those goals. Both elements are essential in health coaching as they work together to help your clients make that progress, to help them be accountable, and to be successful at reaching their desired health and wellness 
nice outcomes. So as we leave today, here's a good way to remember how goals and action steps work together. You wanna set those relevant goals to motivate and inspire your client and then help break them down into those bite-sized action steps to make them achievable. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Let me know if you have any questions at all about actions and goals in the comments below. Bye for now.